There are a lot of organizations in the world that work to protect and preserve the world's cultural heritage, and we're one of them. But I think what we do is approach it somewhat differently than many. Our focus is the profession of people who practice conservation. One of our great privileges here is our ability to stick with a question for a long time and how our resources and those of our partners come together to answer those questions. So we invest in research that allows people to have the best tools, the best knowledge, and the best practice. We're known for working in the field, but the reason we do that is not to conserve an object specifically, but it's to create a model of practice that can be demonstrated in that particular place and that those results can be shared to other sites around the world. We invest a lot in science, and the point of that is not only to understand what works of art are made out of, why they deteriorate, but also to develop the most effective conservation strategies from that share the knowledge that comes out of the Conservation Institute through training and capacity building so that the research that occurs here just doesn't end up on a shelf, but that it finds its way into the hands of people who practice conservation everywhere. In virtually everything we do, we do it with partners. Um, partners who invest as much in the work, whether it's financially or intellectually, as we do. That way, the results are shared and owned by the field. The work we do with our colleagues around the world is an investment in the protection of the world's cultural heritage. So much of it is at risk, so much of it is being threatened, and without skilled hands, without the knowledge that colleagues have to protect it, it will disappear. And there's no better way, in my mind, than to arm a whole profession of people with the best skills and best knowledge possible for them to care for our shared cultural legacy.